Before we get into the video, I just want to announce a giveaway for the ACC Crappie Sticks ice fishing rod lineup. There's going to be three winners selected for this video. The rules are very simple. First, subscribe to the Floppin' Crappie YouTube channel. Second, subscribe to the ACC Crappie Sticks YouTube channel. And then third, post the state that you are fishing in in the comment section down below. The winner is going to be drawn one week from the posting of this video. And be sure to check out the ACC Crappie Sticks ice fishing lineup. Just go to acccrappiesticks.com to view the entire fishing lineup. Well, fall is officially here. We're in October. Air temperatures are starting to drop. They're starting to get pretty cold at night into the upper 30s. Water temps are starting to drop. And one of my favorite rigs to use during this time of year is the double jig rig. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the rod and reel combo that I use. I got two different types. I got a long rod. It's going to be an 11 footer. And then I got a seven foot casting rod and kind of how I'm using them based on how these crappie are set up on different pieces of cover. Also, I'm going to be talking about the line that I'm going to be using because today we're going to be using the ACC Crappie Sticks. This is their copolymer line. They also have braid line. I'm going to be talking about why I'm going to be using each type of line during a specific approach or during if I'm fishing a reservoir, a river, or a lake, clear water, stained water. There he is. Top jig. Ooh, it's a nice fish too. Probably shouldn't be flipping you in, but... Oh no, did he break me off? He did. That's why I should have flipped him in. Probably should use the net on that guy. Six pound test. I'm gonna have to retie, but that is a nice fall crappie. They are loaded up on this tree. Let's see what he is. Oh. He's all of 12. Nice 12 inch fall crappie right there. I'm gonna keep him, he's gonna fry up tonight. Are they still down there? Of course they are. Big old school. Well, that's why I use a double jig setup. They hit that top jig. It's a smaller profile, so I'm, and I was, little, I was a little concerned that bigger profile bait probably wasn't gonna get any strikes. Water temp drops 10 degrees in less than a week. So first let's talk about the vertical jig possibly kind of pitching the jigs away from the boat, but this is definitely more of a vertical jig approach. It's the long rod. This rod is the 11 foot by ACC Crappie Sticks. ACC makes a wide range of jig rods. Um, they got their 10 foot series all the way up to the 16 foot um, that you can use for jig rods. They're trolling rods, but I've used them when I go down south. They work great if you need to get those jigs far away from the boat and you want to give that vertical jig presentation. Today, I'm fishing a little bit deeper water so I can get away with a shorter long rod. This is going to be the 11 footer. Um, got the, this is the PC Fun 1000 size reel. Uh, typically run 1000 size reels on the longer rods just to kind of cut down on weight. You usually don't need a ton of line on them. You don't need a huge spool. So the 1000 size reel works perfect. We haven't gotten any rain for a long time, probably at least a couple weeks. The water is very, very clear on the river system that I'm fishing. Typically, it's always about a two to three foot visibility. Right now, it's like an eight to plus foot visibility. So I'm actually going with the four pound copolymer that ACC had. There he is. That feels like good fish too. Another nice black crappie. Learned my lesson the first time. We're gonna get this one. Light line. I mean, he's probably on. He's probably 11. Put him on the bump board here. He came on the bottom jig though. And he's about 10 and three quarter. There's 11. He's yeah, he's 10 and three quarter, but he's still gonna fry up. I'm hoping that thinner diameter line is gonna produce a lot more bites. And then uh, for the jigs because I'm not really sure. I haven't fished this river in about a week and a half. Um, I've been fishing some other lakes. I'm not really sure what the crappie are gonna do. The water temps, the last time I fished this was probably in the low 70s. Right now, what are they right now? 59. The water temps are 59.9 right now. So I don't really know what they're gonna wanna hit. I got two different jig sizes here. Um, I have the 1 16th ounce jig head and then the 1 8th ounce. 
Whenever you're doing a double jig setup, typically if you're gonna do two different weights, you put the smaller jig higher up on the line, the heavier jigs on the bottom. Um, and lately when I do these double jig setups, typically it's always been two loop knots when you tie them on. Um, but for this bottom jig, I'm finding it's a little bit easier uh, to control the jigging approach, you're not getting tangled up as much when you run a tight knot of some kind. So for this, I'm gonna be using an improved clinch knot for the bottom jig. Oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> Eat the bottom jig. That's a good river crappie. Come here, buddy. Super light line. Definitely don't want a boat flip with four pound test. All right, this guy right here is, he is just shy of 12. Still a nice, nice river crappie though. I'm gonna put him back. I'm not keeping any tonight. See you, buddy. Once you get a, a pattern of if they start hitting on a bottom jig or top jig, you can pair both the jigs up, make them the same size, same color, and then obviously match up the same uh, plastic that you're using. Right now I'm using the same exact plastic, so I'm not gonna change that. But I was a little concerned if they wanted a smaller bait or a bigger bait, but that first crappie, he hit that big eighth ounce jig. Ooh, that's a good crappie. That's a good crappie. Come on, buddy. Bunch of black crappie on this stump here. It's another nice river crappie. It's probably not as big as the last one, but throw them on the bump board and see. No, he's he's about an 11 inch fish, 11 and a quarter. So this bottom jig, I'm finding it's a little bit easier uh, to control the jigging approach, and you're not getting as too many, you're not getting tangled up as much when you run a tight knot of some kind. So bring the line through it. You're going to pinch it back over. And I'm going to put my middle finger, and you're just going to twist and give it about four or five twists, and then you're going to take your tag in, put it back through your loop. So it's sticking out of your loop like that, just like that. And then you're going to take the tag in and put it back through your new loop. So it looks something like that. And then you're going to kind of pull it semi-tight. Then you're going to wet it. And you're going to slide it all the way down to your jig head. And then you're going to cut the excess tag end off. I'm going to put my bottom jig about a foot below my top jig. You're just going to double up your line and then for the loop knot you're going to pinch them together flip it over one time and created this this loop in my right hand here and then you're going to take your jig and you're going to put it right through that loop kind of a mess but we'll get it there we go so now we got our loop and typically you want to slide this closer to the actual jig head. You don't need a huge loop. And there you go, you got your loop knot and then you got your bottom jig, double jig setup tied on. There he is. That feels like a good one too. Oh, top jig. And it is a good one. Easy, buddy. Come here. That's a nice one. I knew there were some nice ones down there. There's a nice October crappie for the river up north. Came on that top jig, too. Oh, yeah, he is all of 12. 12 incher. These are some nice river crappie. I'm going to put him back. See you, buddy. So that was the 11 foot rod. It's great for that vertical jig approach or just kind of pitching it away from the boat. But when you got super clear water, sometimes these crappie can be a little bit spooky and you got to stay back 20, 30, 40 feet from them. Having a casting rod set up with the double jig rig 
is just the way to go. This is the seven foot one piece by ACC Crappie Sticks. I've been using these as more of a multi-species rod, so I have a 2000 size reel. This is the 2000 size PC Fun Viper X. Again, going with, actually this is the six pound uh, copolymer that ACC has. If you have stained to slightly stained water, you'd get away with running their braid to a copolymer leader. But because the water clarity is very clear, um, I'm just gonna go with this six pound mono. And again, same double jig setup, eighth ounce jig on the bottom, 16th ounce jig head on the top and running just natural bait colors. All right, there we go. So that's gonna wrap it up for me tonight. Couple, well, I got like five or six really nice crappie in the live well. Um, they're gonna flay up and cook up really nice. But that is what you can do with the double jig setup in the fall, all the way through November, getting into the winter time. That double jig setup is just a great way to catch a ton of fish and a ton of really big fish. Um, be sure to check out ACC Crappie Sticks uh, fishing line lineup both the copolymer and the braid setup. The vertical jig setup I had was the four pound. This is the six pound copolymer that I'm running here. Appreciate you watching as always. Good luck on the water this fall. If you got any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. Appreciate hearing from you. Good luck on the water this fall. Hoping to catch in a ton of fish.